All it takes is a fire. A flood. Hello? Can you hear me? A tornado or some other sudden disaster to wipe you out of house and home. Could you remember everything you owned? Stand in an essential area of your house. Close your eyes. And try to remember everything within your visual area. I doubt anybody can do that. Take that and multiply it by the size of your entire home. Forget it. There's no way for you to actually remember everything you own. That's why insurance industry experts say it's important to do a home inventory. Mary Bonelli of the Ohio Insurance Institute demonstrates how to inventory your home with something as simple as a smartphone and some free software. Snapping pictures, and I'm going to use this picture to upload onto my inventory site. Bonelli is using an app she downloaded right onto her cell phone. So I can go through the house, and really it sounds like an overwhelming task if, if you think about it. So what I would also suggest is maybe you do a room or two at a time. She says be thorough, take your time, open all the drawers, shoot the silverware, the jewelry, the china, everything of value. Let's talk a little bit about taking an inventory of, of your clothing, for instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a group of items, and I'm going to take them and I'm going to lay them on my bed. Grouping items is a, is a good way of taking an inventory. The goal is to create an accurate catalog of your possessions, something tangible to show when filing an insurance claim. But whenever you have any kind of a big ticket item, and normally we're talking about electronics, those you should save separate receipts for. Even owner's manuals can be proof of ownership. Kevin Smith says only about half of all insured people do a home inventory, while the other half says they'll get to it someday but calamity knows no timetable and as the saying goes better to be safe than sorry jerry revish 10 tv news